started this game up, Benny. Well, the Bulls lifted in the final quarter in the 2013 VWFL series. It'll decide the grand final today as the Bulls now kicked a little way, but not far. It's still in the mud there, and I was hoping it was going to go a little further forward on that occasion. They all get up. Jane Lange gives the ball back to the umpires. Up they go. Astor O'Connor gets the ball to Pierce. Pierce's kicks up in the air. Oh, fingertip mark and a good one at the end. Tracy Ashby has taken that. Bit of desperation shown here by the Falcons as the ball's kicked. Not a great one across the halfback line. Back there's Corrigan. She gets away and uh, kicks the ball back. But uh, cutting it off Karen Paxman. So Paxman now. Been an architect of their uh, effort so far today. Taking her time now, called to play on. Kicks high, big mark wanted. Oh. Fist from the back, but that's a good grab by Veschio. <laughs> Darcy Veschio stood her ground. Coming with a rush behind <laughs> was Bianca Richmond. Is a little bit bigger than Darcy, but she stood her ground, took a courageous mark. Sure did. Tell you what, there's a lot of good players for Darabin for the player of the day. Darcy Veschio is one of those in the running. In comes Veschio now. The drop punt is going to drop short. They punch it in, down, shot around the body. But uh, the defence is going to work well. But ricocheted, sees the ball to the boundary line. It was off Privatelli's foot and it'll be thrown in. Sun still shining here in the last quarter. Diamond Creek with a lot of work to do. It's in the forward line here for Darabin Falcons. They bottle it up again. 58 plays 30 inside the second minute of the last quarter. Up she goes. And uh, they tap it over the back. Veschio in again. Ooh. She wants hold of the footy. They lock her up. And uh, the umpire will blow the whistle. And there'll be another ball up. Just like to uh, send a cheerio to uh, our good friend John Martin watching out there on live streaming. Good on you, John. There's a big thump down from O'Connor trying to thread a way through there was uh, O'Day. Whistle on play again. It's going to be a Diamond Creek free kick. Last line of defence. Can they uh, clear the ball well and truly out of this area? Balls off the side of the boot. Getting under it's Jane Lang. And the umpire's just gone over cropper. Little kick. Sees it inboard, but uh, the uh, defence working hard again. Ooh, Ooh. Body on body. But they come through and the uh, ball out of bounds for a throw in. Uh, for a, no, it's a on, throw the full. It on the full. Yep. Yeah, Laura Corrigan coming through like a freight train. So Astor O'Connor now centres it. They set themselves, oh, well picked out, standing aground, taking a good grab, was Jessica Delpos. To great applause, into the uh, leading Simpson, she directs the kick, takes it on the half volley Simpson, handballs it underground. Taken to the ground and a tackle down there. Was that Florence? Little kick out by Richmond. Sees it over and out on the full. Gee, there's a bit of that. So the umpire's conferring. <laughs> And the uh, Helen Florence picking up the footy. So she's going to bring the ball back into play. Into half forward. Picking out a target. Lisa O'Day has the footy. She plays on straight away. Long kick up. They go. There's oh. a good mark. Katie Brennan. She got a bit of cramp as well, has she, Dags? Uh, probably saw a foot from the number of kicks she's had, Benny. She has been sensational today. Certainly in the running for the player of the day for mine. Well, this would just about make Diamond Creek's job impossible, you would think. Four and a half minutes into the last quarter, the lead already 28 points. As Brennan comes in, Steers the ball on its way with a beautiful kick. And you think that might be an unassailable lead now to the Falcons. Yeah, it looks to me as though they're starting to celebrate. 
Pat in the back all round. Well, as I say, they've lost the last two grand finals. Diamond Creek starting as underdogs last year and knocking them off. But Pete. they've made sure they've had all their uh, things in place today. So it's back in the centre and it's thrown into the air. O'Connor gets a tap out. She's also been a warrior today as they uh, go in hard for the footy and uh, it's locked up again for another ball up. So the lead in our 34 points at the five and a half minute mark of the last quarter. They've only kicked four for the day so far, Diamond Creek. You can't see them getting another six. As the Falcons take control, Sarah Hammond's got it now. Boots it long. Inside the oh. 50 it goes. Does one of Benny's leg breaks. Hand pass comes out. Good piece of play on that occasion. Who was that? Shea Woodley back there. She's battled hard today. Work it over towards halfback now. But it'll be cut off there by Daisy Pierce. Straight away onto the boot. Long kick into half forward, but Corrigan gets back there. Should have taken the mark. Doesn't, but butters up a second time. Has she got the footy off? I don't know. But in the end, it did go that way, and Barton kicks the ball back into the centre of the ground. But here come the Falcons. Yes, they're uh, standing firm again. Then O'Connor sticks up the arms and takes the mark. Good vision. Picked out uh, Jane Lang. About 35 out. In the pocket, she takes the mark and will line up for goal. Solid contributed hers also today. Looks to the umpire. He's not going to kick it for you. Come on, Jane. She puts it onto the boot and it's into the hot spot. No mark taken. Spills free. They go in hard for the ball and quickly the kick comes out, but oh. it goes back to Lang. She come, plays on straight away, lines up the goal. But it's going to be downfield, is it? Where is it? Out of bounds on the full. They're all conferring. Well, how can it be? The ball's gone out of bounds on the full, so the mark should be where it's crossed the line if it's a downfield free kick. Yeah, well, well, how could they be taking it from there? Can't be. Mm. But it gives Darcy Veschio a chance. She's going to uh, spear it across. And Lang has another opportunity of shooting at goal. She's certainly racking up the uh, stats in this last term. Uh, Jane Lang, yet to kick a goal, Lang or Lange, spins the ball, licks the uh, bit of Coburg mud, <laughs> comes in, oh she's uh, just uh, laid it off in the end, <laughs> kicked it over to Stephanie Simpson on her own, she'll kick from about 20 out, unmarked. Is that meant? I think it might have been. I think it might have been too. Lang obviously not a long kick of the ball. So it gives the chance though for Stephanie Simpson to bring up the 11th goal of the day. She's done that for Darabin. They're celebrating it down there. They know that's in their keeping. So a 40-point lead now to Darabin, and, uh, well, the 10-goal margin of the second semi-final could be on again, Benny. It's looking a little bit that way at the present time. They're just playing with a lot of confidence, Darabin. Smarting after their defeat last year as the ball's thrown into the air. Knocked down, and there'll be another ball up. In the room before the game, the coach had pictures up of the uh, last year's premiers and said they're not to be this year. Fair enough, too. Reigning premiers pull down. So the ball's still in the centre of the ground. Little kick out of that pack of players. Chance here now. Corrigan's got it. Funny little right foot kick, but it reaches half forward. Can they do something with this? Over the top of the footy down there is uh, Gretsch. Bit of a uh, tug of war with the footy. The umpire says, give it to me. I'll decide that. I'll throw it up. And up she goes. Nobody really got the hand on the ball at all here. Can it open it up? Pierce wanted to put her body in hard. She receives the footy, though, and onto the left boot she goes. It's a high kick, 
and uh, getting underneath the foot is O'Day. They combine regularly, those two. So now O'Day drops it down the line, looking there for O'Connor. She didn't take the mark, was played the free kick. The advantage now on as she played on straight away. Kicks it to half forward. Two to one over here. Privatelli's there and gets the free kick. Nothing going uh, the Creekers way at the moment. Running onto it, there's Lauren Arnell. Chips it back. Little kick in towards goal. It's the post. Off the outside of the foot. Good effort. It resulted in a poster, but it doesn't matter. They've got the Premiership one. So it's going to be Tanya Hetherington, who's tried her hardest all day. Not to say the others hadn't either. Time she's been effective, brings the ball back into play. Long kick. Up they go. No mark taken. Comes to Pierce. Her kick smothered. She goes in, punches it on. Going in against O'Day. O'Connor got it across. A kick by Paxman off the ground. When was the last time a place kick was done, Dags? A little bit of uh, how's your father going on in the pocket? Players just getting a little bit frustrated there. Then it comes. Teeth the goal here for Darabin. Pierce went in. A little kick off the ground back there from Richmond. Over the footy was Paxman. Loses the handle on it. Kicked out of defence there by Douglas. Chance here now. Taken by uh, Cross. Fed off the hand pass to Kiyochi. She's away. Handballed it further afield. Here's uh, Caitlin Smith running oh. in. Got tackled. Loses it. It's at half forward. She got tackled high. Paid a high tackle. Now pays the advantage. Long kick in towards the forward line by Smith. And it's marked down here by Christina Bernardi. So Bernardi, uh, easy kicking distance here. For the fifth goal on the scoreboard for the Creekers. Comes in, Christine. Puts the ball on its way. Bernardi's kicked the goal. That's their fifth. Thirty-six, play seventy-one. At the clock, well and truly against Diamond Creek as the Falcons torp their way into attack again. Big kick, hand pass coming over here. Came back over towards um, Brazil. She got the kick in towards the centre of the ground. Douglas, it was kicked further afield, holding the uh, man decision. And it's going Diamond Creek's way. They're off again. The speedy Kiyochi. Onto the right foot she goes. Long kick. Bounces. Bounces. One of the goals of the day to Steph Kiyochi. They needed more of that in the first three quarters, Benny. Yeah, they sure did. But, uh, well, better late than never. They go on to 6 6 36, but they trailed Darabin 11 5 71. So it's back with the umpire, umpire Anthony Launton. He tosses it into the air, up they go. Ah, oh, good work there. O'Connor got it down to Pierce and Pierce kicks forward. Katie Brennan on the end of it. And about 40 metres out from goal. So Katie Brennan, she's already booted two goals today and a beautiful kick of the football. Puts it on its way again. Oh, oh. just off hands. Could have let it go, a teammate eventually... Lauren Moorcroft rushes it through for a rush behind. My oh, golly, uh, could have been a great goal if she'd just uh, not gone for it. Hetherington to do the kicking in. And she kicks it virtually straight down the centre. Big Richmond's in front. Looked as though she was pushed out, but all the same. Umpire called play on as the ball goes forward and there's an in the back free kick this time it's going Darabin's way it's like big Esther O'Connor again I say big she's a little bit taller than most of the others 
Connor now. Beautiful kick, kicks it high. Brennan's there, couldn't quite take the grab. Ball's on the deck, lurking there. Was the nippy Jessica Del Pass and she kicks the sealer. You're probably right, Daryl. With the uh, you, you say you, you try to give a compliment to the girls, big Asta O'Connor, yeah. and she might not like being called big. No, that's right. So you just got to differentiate and say, well, she's taller than the girls around her, so she's got that advantage in height. Um, so that when there's a marking contest, you know, she's got that extra advantage and just a good mark and a good kick of the footy. Yeah. Impressive skills. So it's 12 6 79 to 6 6 36 as the ball's thrown up in the centre once more. The uh, Creekers desperately trying to uh, keep it going, but a hand pass comes out. It'll be Darabin to rush forward. A long kick in towards full, the full forward area. And there's a good mark. Was it Paige? That's Veskio again. It is. She's clever, isn't she? Squares it up across the ground. And the mark taken, it's going to be easy here. Looks like Stephanie Simpson with the footy. It's a 42 plays, 78. Don't bother with that scoreboard over there, Benny. They can't add up. Stephanie Simpson. 30 out directly in front in the sunshine at Coburg. Doesn't quite oh. make the difference. Great mark back there to Lauren Moorcroft. She decides to play on. Now she's got a kick that way, does she? Or is it 50? What's going on? Uh, she's just bringing it back on the mark. Oh. So Moorcroft from the last line of defence for Diamond Creek. Not their day today. They had it last year though. Well, Moorcroft the kicks long, kicks it out on the full. And a Darabin free kick from just outside the 50. Yeah, Helen Florence brings it back in board. Now the kick into uh, the yeah, forward line, but it's is that Hitherink? No, it's not. In fact, uh, it's Mel Douglas, I think, that kicked the ball. But the uh, Katie Brennan, no, it's not. The ball by uh, the Darabin defence across the ground it goes. Gretsch is trying her hardest there. She, she's a bit outnumbered. Good uh, work and skills all the same. She put her body on the line. Little knockout by Lisa Williams. Gretsch is in there a second time. She's laying a hard oh. tackle. Bowling them over, if you don't mind, umpire. And uh, they rest the footy away in the end. The Falcons kick it towards the centre wing. Here's the opportunity now. As the busy, who's that? Uh, Jessa Burl kicks in towards the uh, attacking side of the centre square. Off the boot there of Lisa Williams, in towards centre half forward. Can they get a belated goal? Loose footy. Opportunity now there for Cross. She's been good. Round onto the left foot, slips as she kicks. Could have hurt herself at the same time. Ball's gone over the line and out. And Cross has uh, done something to her leg. Or she slipped there. Might have been the coccyx area. Nothing worse than those backstops giving away. As the ball now thrown back into play. Oh, Connor again, playing like a true champion. Another knockout to her. Little flick out, and uh, it's uh, going to be cross with it. Hand passes the ball over, but uh, can they get away here? Darabin doing well. A bit uh, clever in the end, and there's going to be a free kick going the Creekers' way. So, a uh, little kick coming in towards centre half forward. Knocked down. Hammond was there. Whistle on play, sees a Diamond Creek free kick. Far too late in the day, say their supporters. <laughs> As they uh, go sideways here, fisted away. The target down there was Hetherington. Ball's on the deck, a few of them limping, a bit proppy now. Hand pass coming out from Hetherington again. Gave it over to Williams. Williams in towards centre half forward. Florence is over the footy. Got a hand pass away, and they're away again now. Hand passing it off to Ashby. Her kick's a good one, and finds Lang. Centre wing on that uh, outer side. Little kick over the top. Nobody's uh, manning up over there. And uh, it'll be the Falcons to go forward. Nicely weighted kick. Kathy Zacharopoulos runs onto it, kicks it quickly into the full forward area. She's looking there for Privatelli. She's first to the footy. Gets wrapped up in the tackle. They go in hard. And it'll be a ball up. Oh. Only about 25 metres out. From the Darabin goal. Snap around the body there in the goal square. Taking the mark. 
doing it beautifully in the end was Rebecca Privatelli. She's already booted one. Chill kick from about uh, six metres out. Comes in, puts it on its way. And it's the Falcons' day today. It's their flag. Thirteen six eighty four, play six six forty two, and doing it nicely in the grand final, Darabin. Twenty minutes gone of the final quarter. Ten minutes of party time you would expect. O'Connor got the tap down again. The tackles are laid. A quick kick sees the ball to half forward. The race is on for the ball. Oh, the two teammates knock each other over. Just about little knock on. The umpire says it's a throw, and it's going to Diamond Creek. So it'll be Lauren Brazil kicks over towards that Adawinji. One against two over there, asking a lot of Christina Bernardi. <laughs> Taken by O'Connor. She's slung away. Yeah, you're going to pay the free kick for incorrect disposal, I think. So it's uh, OK. I thought it was going the other way. He pointed the other way. Anyway, it's a Diamond Creek free kick. And it's a, uh, not a great kick either because it's out of bounds. And uh, just not enough thought into that kick. So Lauren Arnell will take the result and free kick out of that one. She's on centre wing on that outer side, squares it up looking for O'Connor. Taking the mark, played a pretty good game today. Now the uh, drop punts long and high into half forward, no mark taken to the ground she goes. Tackles laid but the umpire calls play on. Just can't get the ball out quickly at the present time. Chance for the uh, Creekers, but uh, cut off again by Brennan. She's taken to the ground. Ball spills free. Little hand pass comes out again. Again, it's spilled free. The umpire in the end pays incorrect disposal. So Bianca Richmond, virtually last line of defence here for Diamond Creek. She battled hard today. <laughs> Excuse me. Kicks in towards the centre wing. Daisy Pierce is there to take the mark. Centres the footy. Right in towards the uh, centre half forward position proper. S mounting something again here. Lurking down there was uh, Sam Smith. Couldn't take it with her though. They lock it up. It's on the ground. They're diving in. Sandcastle time and it's going to be a ball up. Mud pies. Whatever your fancy is, Ken, uh, Benny. <laughs> what was your name again? <laughs> Balls thrown into the air. Up they go. Whistle on play, though. It's going to be a free kick going to Daisy Pierce into that ruck contest. The umpire's looking at the ground. Pierce plays on. Kicks it into the uh, pocket. Chance for them to go further ahead. They are. Another goal on the board. That time to Stephanie Simpson. Fourteen six ninety to six six forty two. They are steamrolling their way to the twenty thirteen Premiership, the Darabin Falcons. Balls balled up in the centre of the ground. Nobody got a decisive knockout. A little kick on the ground, off the ground sees the ball further forward. Coming through is Tanya Hetherington. Kicks to half forward. Bounces awkwardly. Crosses there, though. Round on her left boot. Heaves her foot into the footy and sees it to half back as the mark's taken. And they'll come out of defence straight to O'Connor. O'Connor looks across the ground looking for the running players here. Chance for them to go forward. <laughs> Paxton didn't have the footy, fudged the free kick and won it. Yeah, well, Caitlin Smith grabbed her and, of course, uh, they've had the ball at all in towards half forward. It goes flying high was Brennan. They all fell down like nine pins. Running onto it now is Tracy Ashby. Can't take it. The hand pass coming out there, but stealing it was Lauren Arnell. Oh! Spares the pass in and Stephanie Simpson comes out and marks. Well, I thought there was going to be a big collision on there with Simpson and Richardson. Didn't eventuate, but oh, it looked ugly. Oh, good stuff. 
Stephanie Simpson making a late run for player of the day too. She's been good all day, Benny. How many goals she kicked, Dag? She's kicked two. This will be a good one. Pretty tight angle, all the same. Comes in the siren sounds to end the game. It doesn't matter. It's all over. Darabin winning the 2013 Premiership. So the scoreboard shows Darabin 14 7. No. Nine. Well, we make it 14,690, Benny. So. Okay, 14,690 to 6,642. They've got 90 over there on the scoreboard, but they've got a seven in there in the points. So Can't happen. Back to the maths class. Well, Benny, Darabin Creek after uh, two unsuccessful... Darabin, not Darabin, Darabin Creek. Creek. Darabin Falcons after two unsuccessful attempts have taken out the uh, 2013 Premiership over Diamond Creek. Diamond Creek victorious last year, but today the Falcons never faltered. It was uh, Darabin all the way. Yeah, it was. They played pretty good football. They came out in the first quarter and they wanted to uh, be first at the ball. They showed why they ended up on top of the ladder at the end of the home and away season. They had a good win in the second semi-final and they carried on on that form into the grand final and uh, although Diamond Creek they were valiant at times they worked hard and tried hard but just didn't have the class that Darabin Falcon showed today and uh, they deserve their grand final victory uh, lots of good players uh, Darabin, uh, Karen Paxman was good again, Katie Brennan I thought was absolutely fantastic for them all day and uh, Stephanie Simpson another uh, four quarter player yeah, Darcy Veschio, she kicked uh, uh, a number of goals. And it was telling, especially in the first half, I thought that she also played uh, a terrific game. They had lots of good winners all over the ground, to be honest, and they uh, teamed extremely well. Um, Aster O'Connor, another very good player for them, and their defence was superb. Their defence was great because it just goes to show the scoreboard that uh, Diamond Creek could only manage six goals for the day. And at the present time, the... Uh, Falcons really revving it up down there. Okay, well, I think we'll let our cameras tell the story down there as uh, we go down and uh, do some interviews.